introduce the Parametric section. My name is Lisa Marie Breton Lebreu. I work for Concordia's Department of Recreation and Athletics. I'm a strength and conditioning coach for the Concordia Singers. We're going to start today with Parametrics. We're going to do three sets per exercise, resting a minute between each set because we're working on power and explosion and or whenever you work on speed, so if you work on speed and or power, you need to have a full rest, which means you need to be at least a minute between short bout of exercises. We're not gonna jump that many reps, but all the reps must be full explosion. Okay, got that? So you're gonna need to be patient in between sets because it's not, it's not like we do usually, we just keep going. Now I'm gonna ask you to Reset, rest, have some positive thoughts, and get back to the exercise with a better focus, doing the exercise better and better as we do it. We always start, not always, but in this recent series with pogo jumps, okay? So you're gonna jump and bring your toes up, jump and bring your toes up, both feet. You're gonna keep your core nice and tight, and I'm gonna ask you to hold the stick today, bring those shoulder blades down in your back pocket, keep that core really tight. We're gonna do 15 of those. Brace that core tight, 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 as if I'm gonna punch you. Ready? 15 and go. Crush it, break it in half with your back, with your core. And we breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. I like starting with the pogo because it teaches my ankles to be stiff. I want you to be. As soon as you hit the ground, you move your toes back up towards the ceiling. So it's a, when I run, I'm, I need to do this. I want to be lazy foot. So very stiff ankle. Plus, it teaches you to stack your hips under your rib cage. Be nice and solid as if I'm going to hit you with a, with a punch. Bon, ready? Tight core, shoulders back, and go. Nice. You're getting better. I see it. Good job. Minute break. Today we have six different jumping exercises to do. Then we'll take a break. Then we'll go on to the core and upper body. Breathing in, breathing out. Take a look at your heart rate. It's always good. See how fast you come down. Because I'm talking, I'm not breathing as well. I'm at 123 now and going down. That's good. Keep breathing. is over your head, your shoulder blades are down into your back pocket, and your core is tight. Ready? And go. Fourteen, fifteen. Nice. A minute break. You can get rid of the stick. Parametrics, and you feel that sometimes you're getting shin splint and it's getting worse and worse. It should not happen, but sometimes it's possible. Refer back to an, uh, a wor an earlier workout, non impact, or something you know that it's not hurting you. For those of you who can progress to plyometrics, it's a very good way 
to work on the springs of our legs, springs of our tendons, springs of that load and unload muscles, and it's gonna make us more explosive. This is the only thing we can do right now. We don't have weights. Next is the tuck jump. So knees up, knees up, knees up. Toes up as well, okay? We're gonna go 10 reps. The goal here is as if the ground is on fire. You wanna lift those knees up. You also wanna stay within the same. You don't wanna end up moving back and forth, okay? 10 reps, ready, and go. Can feel the spring. Feel the spring. My heart rate is coming up. Around 148. That's good. I'm still working on my cardio. I let it go down in a minute to about 130. Usually 1.30 is a good point to start again. If you feel that your heart rate is not going down fast enough, you can wait a bit longer. See now I'm at 1.30. 10 more seconds, oh, perfect, it's just good timing. You guys are ready? 10 tuck jumps and go. Swing the arms a little bit here. Tight core. Ooh, a little break. You can grab water when it, whenever you want. down. One more set of tuck jumps in 20 seconds. Ready? 10 tuck jumps.
opening those shoulders actively for the push-ups later, just to stretch those specs. We do a lot of push-ups, so get tighter here. Okay, this leg first. I'll show you over here. Ready and go. Other side and go. Ah, nice and a break. Ah. Side to rotate a little. Breathe in. Breathe out. rugby, football, that in between actions, in between sprints, in between rocks, in between plays, in between defensive back check, that you need to be able to breathe in, breathe out, and come back down to this low heart rate zone, focus again, save your energy, you don't always need to be bam, 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 bam. You really need to bring it down, stay calm, then you can be focused. You can go again with more strength and more focus. Now we're good. Relax. Then power. Ready, go. you to find in your head, you can say it out loud, three reasons why you're doing this here today with me. What's your reason? You're at workout number 10, which is great guys. I'm happy. I'm super glad you keep going. You're following me. I do all the workouts, three sets of everything. I can see real change. I can really see change in my body. So I'm sure that if you're being consistent, you can still see change as well. Now we were doing forward and back. Now we're going to imagine one about this much. So from here to here, but diagonal and back, forward and back. So a little more diagonal and then we'll do laterally after. So we're doing multi-direction leaps. So we're gonna go forward, back. Got it, make sure you have enough room. You can go as far as you can. We're still catching ourselves, toes to heel, pushing back at 45 degree angle. Got it? Five each, go. tight keep facing this way pushing it in a 45 degree angle other side I'm in a break feel free to grab the stick breathing Completely. 
it's okay if I'm not busy. I don't need to be consistently active. I'm okay being calm and resting. So what's good with this is I'm practicing with that back foot, that 45 degree angle push, and then maybe we move, boom. Or, or I'm playing defense, I have to go back 45 degrees to be in front of my player. Of course, this is a bit more applicable to running because we're not in hockey skates, any running sport, but when you're in the summer, your defense push back, you're forward, you're accelerating with that back leg. So it's really good just to have that snappy jumping abilities. 45 degrees, five, ready, go. Move your outside. Nice. Poor neighbors, I know. Other side. I'm gonna break. Coming back to calm and focus. I can really feel that whenever this, I'm going this side, or even forward and back, that ankle is a bit weaker. I don't like it at all. At all, at all. If you feel pain while doing this, go in a more stable way, shorter range, working on stability. There's nothing wrong with that. You're at home, you know your body, be smart. This side again, one more set. Use arm, three, three, four, four, five, five. Nice. Other side. So it's about a minute per exercise, so the rest is a minute. We do three sets, maybe three minutes and a half. Six exercises, so 18 minutes. Let's say 20 total. And then that's it for the neighbor. You can go on the floor and be a little bit more quiet. Now, next we do it all the time. Lateral leap or jump, so it's a leap actually. Now put your hands, we're gonna do this one with proper contract. I know I should, I should have said it earlier. I'm hoping that you guys know by now you need to contract your lower abs. Boom, be tight, core tight, and I'm gonna slide on that train track right along the ground for best distance. On and off, tight core. Don't let your shoulder go beyond your foot. So your foot is here, your shoulder is gonna be slightly inside. You never pass it. Five each, ready, tight abs, and go. Exercise number five or six. You can take water. Bring that heart rate down. doing 
great, guys. I don't know if you felt that the first time we did plyometrics, but the day after, my ankles and feet, my joints were a little sore, which is why we're doing it, to get the ligaments a little stronger every single time. So that's why the day after, we do a more non-impact workout, so we get to recover from that, and then a bit more impact, and then boom, we do it again. So every three to four workouts we have a plyometric workout to do now again abs tight boom stay low go ankles ankles jump. We're going to finish under fatigue a little bit. I'm going to ask you to stabilize on one leg. So now you're going to want to do all kinds of compensations. Go in front of the mirror and look at yourself. The goal is under fatigue to be able to be perfect. Under fatigue to realize that you're having compensation and correcting them. Okay, we are not that fatigued, but we are still a little bit with the warm up. It's been 42 minutes. So, we're gonna start here standing and you're gonna drop into one leg. Facile. Standing, out of sight, and drop. So, you're basically gonna lift slightly to drop and stick the landing. Okay, we'll do five each. Five on one leg. Five on the other. Ready? And drop. Two seconds. Ready? Squeeze your bum. Abs tight. And drop. Excellent. Ah, ready? And drop. Oh, knee in line. Ready? And drop. Abs square here. I want to see this line of your pants staying straight. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your abs. Oops. And drop. Whew, one more. Squeeze the butt. And drop. Nice. Other side. Squeeze your butt. And drop. Ooh. Squeeze your butt. You squeeze your abs. And drop. When I'm here, it's straight. My abs are engaged. Put your fingers inside here. Ready? Squeeze your butt. Drop. Three. Ready? Squeeze your butt, your abs. Drop. Knees to knees, ankle nice and tight. One more. Abs tight, butt tight. And drop. Oh. Stabilize. Nice work, guys. Shake it. Two more sets. I'm going to break. Very good. So the goal here is to pull yourself down quickly to a full stop, as if I'm pressing the brake, I'm going a thousand miles of power, boom! I stop on a dime, on one leg. Now remember what we've seen in the past workouts, you want a nice solid arch, big toe, ball of your foot on the ground, small toe, ball of your foot uh, on the ground, heels on both sides, 
good arch, gripping the ground, stabilizing, not collapsing at the arch like that, but splitting those toes, keep your knee in line, don't drop the hip, all of that, I know, I know, and again, put your fingers right inside that hip bone on your oblique slash lower abs, squeeze your butt, right leg, butt, and whoop, and again, and two, and again, and three, whoop, whoop, getting tired, and four, and five, good, 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 good. Other side, squeeze your bum, and drop, oh boy, abs tighter here, and drop, Ooh. and drop, not as easy, and drop, and drop, Ooh. now I can really feel the tiredness in my legs, which I'm going to Breathe, refocus. Whew. I'm gonna feel that one tomorrow, like <coughs> every other day. <laughs> ah, consist I've been sore for two weeks. This is amazing. Ah, I'm gonna take tomorrow off for sure. It's better if you do every second day or two in a row and then a run, no more than two in a row, or you'll get too sore. Unless you cannot go out because you've been in contact with people with COVID. So now if that's the case, choose an easier one to squeeze in between the workouts. Keep going in the same order, please. And again. Squeeze your bum, five each, and chop, what, and again, and three, there you go, four, and five, and switch leg, squeeze your bum, one, Last one, best one, and five. <laughs> Just on time. And again, we're going to eat soon. So that's it for the plyometric circuit. See you with the core and upper body in part two. Bye, guys.